Hello everyone, this is financial author Ahmed Dan of AhmedDan.com. On this channel, you'll find financial, travel and more videos just like the one you're watching right now. If you like what you see, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing. Hello everyone. This is Ahmed Dan of AhmedDan.com. On this channel, you'll find financial, travel, and more videos just like the one you're watching right now. If you like what you see, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing. Today, I'll be unboxing and doing a brief review of the Rode Video Micro Compact on-camera microphone. The sound system or sound recording system, which comes with the camera or handy camera, Usually they're not that good and in order to enhance your sound system or sound recording and make better videos, an additional microphone just like the one I have here, Rode uh, Video Micro, would be a good idea to enhance the sound better and make uh, greater videos. Now this camera, uh, this uh, microphone is Rode. It's a very popular one and it's uh, designed and made in Australia. Uh, for example, if we look at the box and here you can see that Australian made and owned. Now, before I st uh, start opening the box, uh, I'd like to mention a few things about this microphone. This microphone is not an omnidirectional microphone. What it means that it wouldn't capture sound from all directions. Uh, this is a front direction. Uh, it, this is a directional microphone. What what it means that it would capture uh, sound, whoever or whatever is in front of the camera, from a specific direction. And there are situations when you don't want. An omnidirectional microphone you don't want uh, to capture sound from everywhere you just want from a specific subject or object uh, for example if you're doing an interview or if you are vlogging or if you are recording something specific then you would need a microphone which is a directional microphone just like this one and other important thing I'd like to mention that uh, this microphone does not need any battery uh, so we have to just uh, plug it into your uh, camera or handy cameras uh, 3.55 millimeter uh, a microphone uh, socket and then it would take power uh, from that uh, socket so what it means that your camera has to have the capability to supply the power or the camera has to have built-in plug-in power capability. Now there are specific cameras which wouldn't work with this microphone and I was checking uh, Rode's website and they have a list of cameras which would not work with this microphone. So before you buy this I would uh, recommend to check uh, whether the camera you have is on that list or do more research because it may not work with your camera but in most cases it would work with uh, most of the video or recent uh, cameras uh, which whichever has a sound input system okay so now let's go through the specs a little bit more here so this is the box and this is one side and here's the some specs two year warranty no battery required Rycoat suspension mount included and included fari windshield and here we have the same thing so we can just start unboxing and see what's in here So let's start from here.
Okay. Okay, so it's able to cut the packaging tape and checking this out here. Okay, looks like there's nothing else in the box. So I'll just uh, leave the box here for now. And this is the whole thing inside the box. And let's open this up. Okay, I'm trying to figure out whether I need to cut anything or this is just come off. Okay, so there's no need to cut anything. So, looks like it just come off like this. And here, this one looks like the Rycott shock mount. So, Basically, the microphone sits in here, and this one just protects the microphone from shock or vibration when you're walking or recording. Okay, so I'll leave it here. And we have a cable, so this one looks like uh, let me just take a look here. Okay, so this is just 3.5 millimeter audio cable that would go into the mic and into your camera. So I'll just leave it here for now. And here we have a small brochure. Let's open it up. Okay. Okay, what I can see here that the cable is a mono output, so this would not record uh, a stereo sound. Uh, however, you do not need a stereo sound quality when you're, you know, talking or doing interview or other general stuff. And then it's in different languages, so I'll just put it aside for now. And okay, so here we have the windbreaker or dead cat or windshield, whatever you call it. It looks like it's made of synthetic material. And this basically protects uh, your microphone from wind, wind noise or wind sound or any other ambient noise or basically any background noise and it would concentrate on your subject uh, noise or subject uh, uh, sound rather than wind sound or other background distractions. Okay, so now this one looks like the microphone. So we'll just take it up here. Okay, so here is what we have. So this is a very tiny compact microphone. And due to the fact that it's so compact, this is good for traveling or whenever you're just you know doing video outdoor. And so the way it would work, you have to stick in one part of the audio cable here and then the other part would go into the camera and then you put it here 
on this Lycoat shock mount. Okay, let me see here. Okay, there you go. So it should go like this way. And the other part would go this way. And then you mount it on your uh, camera or Handycam's hot shoe mount. So this is the front frontal look and you can see that you know if there's vibration or shock then this shockproof uh, uh, mount would protect the camera from shock or vibration Okay, now by the look of it, it looks like uh, you may need to buy additional uh, hot shoe mount if your camera doesn't have the capability or the feature to stick it this way. So what I'll do, I'll just, you know, set everything up with my camera and see if I have the necessary uh, hot shoe mount and how it works with the camera and then i'll do some outdoor audio sound testing with the mic and with cameras uh, on mic and then i'll post it all together okay so this is the end of part one and then once i do the part two which is going to be outdoor testing then you'll be able to see and compare how does it perform and i'll give you more uh, features or more uh, thoughts on how this product is. Thank you. Hello everyone. Today I'll be doing outdoor testing of the Rode microphone uh, video micro compact on camera microphone. But before I do that, I'd like to show you something. Uh, the microphone itself, uh, which is this this one right here, it would be attached to right here on the uh, Rycote suspension mount and it should be right here but this uh, suspension mount is very tight so when you actually fit in right here in this position it gives you a feeling that it's going to break because see it's not moving uh, anywhere so you have to just like you know put pressure or force it to uh, put it on the mount in this position and while doing that I was afraid that it's gonna break but nothing happened so it's uh, all in good order and should be right in this position now if you have a video camera or if you have a handy camera like this one which I have Sony uh, this is Sony uh, CX405 and if you have a camera like this then the Rode uh, Video Micro Pro is not going to uh, be a touch on top of your uh, video micro on top of your video camera because right here there's nothing to uh, hold uh, this uh, video micro on top of it or there's no shoe mount so for that reason you need a separate piece of attachment uh, what is called a flash bracket now i'll go ahead and show you the flash bracket so which is uh, right here so let's open this box so you need to piece this you need to buy this piece only if you have a camera or video camera which doesn't have a shoe mount on top of here so you're gonna have to need this piece and what it does that it has a uh, socket on the bottom and you attach it to your camera right here uh, this way where you mount your uh, tripod or monopod so this section of this uh, flash bracket go right here so you, you attach it right here and then on this part there is a shoe mount uh, where you can attach your uh, video micro 
just uh, this way so for example you take your video micro and you put it this way okay so it takes a little time so like this so you put it this way and then you have to just you know uh, tighten up this one here and then it holds on top of it this way so just like this and then once you attach your camera this way then you have actually it's gonna be like this okay so once you attach your camera on here and then you have your shoe mount right here then you can do the video this way and it will absorb or capture the sound and you can even put your uh, dead cat on top of it and so the camera stays here and then if you open it up okay so the camera is going to be attached here and your shoe mount is going to be I thought let me just move my camera a little bit okay here's the here's the better picture okay so this is going to stay this way so you stick your camera this way and then your video micro is this way so that's the piece you need if your camera doesn't have any uh, shoe mount on top of it so this piece is called flash bracket you can uh, purchase this this is very cheap and then I figured out there's another way uh, if you buy a hot shoe adapter or you can stick it right here or hot shoe attachment then I believe you can attach this piece right here as well however this is gonna like you know put back the microphone backwards or off and there's gonna be awkward way so the best uh, solution to attach this to a video camera is to buy this piece which is called flash bracket you should be able to get it on Amazon uh, between 10 to 20 dollars so it's not that expensive at all so this is a separate piece you need if you have a video camera or a handy camera so this is uh, all about setting up uh, the Rode video micro pro on uh, video micro compact on top of your uh, video camera so now I'll do the outdoor voice testing or sound quality testing and then I'll attach that clip all together. Thank you. video micro compact on camera and then you'll be able to see the differences uh, with uh, the road micro video micro and without the road video micro so right now you're he hearing the uh, video cams or handy cams built in uh, microphone uh, so there is going to be wind noise and then I'll just stop it right now and then I'll switch to the road video micro compact uh, Hello everyone, I'm back this time with the Rode Video Micro Compact on camera microphone. So right now it is attached to the video camera or Sony Handycam and right now you're hearing me through the Rode Video Micro Pro and it has the dead cat attached to it which should uh, cancel uh, the wind and you should be able to hear my voice uh, clear, clearer than the video micro cameras built-in camera so after this testing uh, actually I do not have I have no idea right now that whether how job the Rode video micro pro is doing uh, I'm just talking uh, looking at the camera and I'm about two three feet uh, in front of the camera so once we do the uh, video then I'll uh, be able to compare by myself uh, at home when I listen both of the 
uh, no sounds and then uh, you'll be able to also compare them what difference does it make or if there's any difference at all uh, between the Rode Video Micro uh, compact on uh, cam uh, camera uh, microphone with the dead cat and without the Rode Video Micro Pro so that's all for now uh, thank you for watching and please hit the subscribe button and if you like this video please give it a thumbs up see you soon thank you